right. Uh, this is a video of a very ugly bug inside of ScreenFlow. Hopefully I can run ScreenFlow with Camtasia running because when I try to do with the, this with ScreenFlow it crashes. So hopefully I can run ScreenFlow here. Okay, so ScreenFlow um, Let's see, we don't really require any of this. So what I'm going to do in ScreenFlow, it's very simple. I'm going to go File, New Empty Document, and I'm going to create it as a 1080p HD. All right, so I've got an empty project. Now, my goal here is to create a, a project with a white letter box instead of a black one, and this used to work. And, ScreenFlow and sometime or another in a recent update it stopped working. So I've selected my media pane here and I've got a white uh, image here and the way I created this image was um, uh, alright well here I'll, I'll just recreate the the uh, image here so everybody knows what what's going on here. So this is using image magic. I'm going to say convert um, size, uh, I'm going to make this a 1080p, so it's going to be 1920, whoops, 1920 times 1080, uh, and I'm going to create it with a, it's going to be a white background, Let's ping, Oops. Actually, let's do this. Let's name this correctly. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Okay, now if we look on our desktop, if I bring this up in preview, uh, and I'm going to hit uh, command minus minus, and you can see we actually do have a um, a white background image here. Let's see if there's is there an inspector window in here? Show inspector. All right. So preview says that uh, this is a um, 1920 by 1080 pixel wide image that's got an image DPI of 72 inches. I just know what if anything that makes any difference. Let's see. Uh, I didn't know that makes any difference. Um, anyway, I'm also going to create a um, GIF image here. Actually, the ping image is smaller than the GIF. But anyway, I'm going to try this uh, experiment with both a uh, GIF image and a ping image. So first thing I'm going to do is um, drag this white ping image into my media bin here. Now watch what happens in ScreenFlow. I'm going to take this, drag it down here, and put it on the timeline. Boom! ScreenFlow dies a horrible death. Let's quit ScreenFlow here. Let's start it up again and try it with a uh, GIF image. Maybe it has something to do with the ping image. Let's see. Get info here. All right, so we're going to take a GIF image here. Why is that a zero in damage? Hmm. Evidently, my GIF command didn't work here. Huh. That's weird. Okay, let's try a white uh, JPEG image. How about that? Oh, darn it. Uh, we're going to create a white J 
JPEG and a white ping. Uh, GIF, I mean. Well, that GIF image, it just does not. Hmm. Well, I'll have to figure out what's broken and convert. Uh, let's see if the JPEG image here. Okay, the JPEG image looks like it's correct. Let's see, where's that inspector? 1080 by tw or 12, 1920 by 1080, so that's correct. So let's see what happens when we drag a JPEG image in here. Let's get rid of the... Oh, there's the GIF image. Got me. Let's see what happens if we... Ha! Huh. GIF image works. JPEG image works. Ha! Huh. Alright, so the problem is it's something in converting ping images. So, for the time being, I'm going to figure out how to fix this GIF image because it's showing up as 0, 0. I just know what the heck that is. Calculating size. I can't figure out the size anyway. So, the bug in, um, the bug in ScreenFlow is that it crashes uh, when using ping images whereas JPEG and GIF seem to work just fine.